Sikeswa, one of the three communities which has experienced the tragic loss of three of its female population. The death of Maku, identified as the third victim, has opened investigation into previous homicidal incidents in the district. Maku went missing after spending the day with her 70-year-old mother in a village near Sikeswa, where she spent the entire day preparing gari for sale. Reports suggest she left the village in the evening to Sikeswa, but that was the last time they saw her. Following Maku's disappearance, Moses, her husband, was arrested and detained by the police as a suspect. Police arrested a middle-aged man, Richard, a driver's mate and a resident of Skeswa, following further investigations. Richard confessed to the police in an amateur viral video about a crime he committed where he was contracted by a child bar operator to kill three women for 1,500 cities. Obina, so to be why a day I was contracted to kill and supply parts of my victims. So when I kill them, I wipe the liquid from their mouth and genitals with a material and present it to the woman that contracted me. The suspected choba operator has been apprehended by the police. Please kill me. I don't know anything about the case. Richard was tracked and subsequently apprehended after allegedly using the deceased cell phone for making and answering calls. Richard led the police to retrieve two of the three women he confessed to killing, allowing the release of Maku's husband who was previously detained as a suspect in the case. At Blukungpunya, the village Maku last visited before her death, her aged mother is still grappling with the loss of her daughter. <laughs> the family is seeking justice for their deceased member. We want the law enforcement officers to thoroughly investigate the case and establish the truth so they can give my sister justice. The brother of Maku took me to the scene where his sister's remains were dumped by the suspect upon request. Assemblyman for the area, John Tete John Uboa, stated that nearby communities are living in fear of potential accomplices to the crime. Now the village, if you go to the village, everybody they scattered and then they are afraid. They are afraid in the community. The police officers here, they are only three. Uh -huh. So it, they make some, it makes some style for us. So now everybody, by six o'clock, everybody go to the room. We can't come out. This is a challenge now. So we are afraid. Some women at Sikeswa expressed criticism of the violence against women in the area. All of us, we are afraid, like, like walking around, especially with the ladies. Mm -hmm. We don't want to uh, walk alone if we want to walk two or three. Residents of the community are confident that the presence of police will effectively deter criminal activities. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News. Kesua, Eastern Region.